Hello everyone, welcome back to right where we left off in Toma Netherworld. Yep. Patchy's still nearly dead, and Marissa's still hurt. I did not go back and heal or anything. So, let's finish up these battles on this route. Starting off with Tiffany, who has one. Ooh, that's... That's scary. Let's hope Blazing Star can just kill it. Don't know if Bug resists electricity, so this might only be neutral. Might still kill? I oh, know, it's super effective and it definitely killed. The Marissa is going to die any second now, so I might just have a suicide in the next battle. Alright. Oh, you're not a trainer, you just give pointless narration, exposition, whatever you call it. Alright. Next trainer. She has three. So, I think we'll start off by suiciding Marissa, because this is definitely going to kill. Well, kill both of them. So no one really gets the EXP, which kind of sucks, but I also don't really care. Oh no, Marissa gets EXP, okay. But I guess I will switch her out. E Nitori. You know what, I'm just gonna, just gonna have Suiko get it, even though I don't want Suiko to get any more EXP, I guess she'll just have to take it, because we don't really have anyone else who's really comfortable dealing with the e Nitori. And that is a guaranteed KO. Another Chiyuri. Again, Suiko would be really good here, because there's so many water electric types, but uh... We're going to switch out to Sukiya. More magic coats are what we want. So we can land this nice cross chop. Crit. Didn't even need a crit. Alright, because I don't want to hear that annoying beeping too much more. I'm going to switch. You out for Sukiya. There we go. Are these the last two ones? Maybe. I hope so. Alright, Cherno. That's good. Rock Slide's gonna take this one out real quick. Easiest pie. Get 500 to 1200. Uh, experience. A churno shouldn't be a problem either. I don't know. Apparently, Advent Cherno has something that makes it actually resist rock. Alright, let's just Ancient Power it. Not sure if I'll stay in the whole time or not, but getting the boost would be... It's just the extra. We don't care about it either way. Kind of want to bring a million in, but I also kind of don't. I'm definitely not bringing it in against Chiyori. Alright. Slowly but steadily increasing our EXP gained, and finally we get something to bring Amelia in on. And so she can hopefully hit level 60 off this. Just regular Marasa, not E Marasa, but still should give a decent amount of EXP. 
We gained about 1,300 from each of the other ones. I think that's enough to level up familiar. I don't know. There we go. And Amelia goes up to low 60. Yep, 1,600. That's a bit more than the others. Alright. There we go. The water is shallow here and there are many people swimming. Yet for some reason we can't swim. The water is really that shallow. I guess we're a little kid. Well, okay, no, we're not, this is not Pokemon, this is toho Mon. We're a college-age student. We should definitely be able to stand. If we just or swim, or just be able to be competent in water as these people here. At least we should be able to, like, buy a floaty or something. Oh. But... HMs are HMs, and I like HMs. I know a lot of people really like that HMs went away. I don't. I hate that. I find it to be one of the most annoying things ever. Uh, because now you just have ride Pokemon, which are just the same thing, but even more of a hassle and annoying. And that's just one of many, many things that I hate about Gen 7. I hate, I, I just can't finish Moon. It's so, so bad. I mean, the story starts getting better, but, like, the beginning is just the most boring thing ever, and the gameplay's not that great either. I do like many of the new Pokemon, at least, but that's neither here nor there. We are not playing Pokemon. We are playing Tohomon. No. There we go. Trying to make this faster, not slower, so... Alright, so... The only thing we seem to have left to do is fight Sabrina. Go through the abandoned mansion, then, then fight the 7th gym leader, and then fight the 8th gym leader. And after that, we'll be going on to Elite Four. Seems really simple when you say it like that, but... Well, maybe it will be simple. Anyways, I will see you guys at Sabrina. Alright, we are back, we are back. And we're here at the two gyms. We've already completed the one on the left. A bit early. <laughs> so now we have to complete the one on the right. So, we're all relatively good level for this. Except for Patchy. At least I think so. I have absolutely... Zero idea what the levels are going to be in this gym. I could look it up, but I don't really feel like it. And also, I just flat out don't remember, even though I have obviously been through here since I've beaten the game. So we have Kaine. Steel Psychic, but then again, Steel does not resist Dark anymore, so... Oh, oh, wait, no. Okay, maybe it doesn't... Sorry, it doesn't resist Ghost anymore. And Kaine is just pure steel. Apparently. Whatever. This would be a, a great time to bring in... A uh, great time to bring in... Uh, Ho-Oh, since Dark was weak to steel, and I would could die in one hit from something from Kaine, but... I guess I'll just sit here and crunch it to death because it's six levels lower than us. Who cares about wasting six crunches and having Amelia slightly over level when we could be leveling up Ho-Oh instead. I mean, Ho-Oh already is kind of really stupidly powerful, but we'll be seeing more of that stuff later. So, we might as well get her up to a good level. Kaine is actually Steel Psychic. But, as we just found out, it's only ghosts that still no longer resist in this game. Got a little confused because, you know, with Jid 6, they removed Steel's resistance against Ghosted Psychic, uh, Ghosted Dark. And I remember Steel no longer resisting Ghost, so I'm like, oh yeah, cool, it's the same thing as Jid 6, but apparently it's only Ghost. Oh, come on, how does Hell's Tomahawk miss?
I kind of want to go heal after this because we only have two health tomahawks left, but I kind of actually don't because pausing too much in the video will be kind of abrupt and annoying. As I'm sure you guys all experienced the last couple of videos. There we go, ho is still gaining EXP at an absurd rate. And I guess I should explain what the puzzle here is. All of these teleport panels are all predest pre predestined, I guess. Sure, they're predestined as well, but they'll have they'll have destinations that are preset. So essentially what that means in a nutshell is that Whichever one you step on will take you to a certain location, and that location will never change. So just memorize the locations at which they take you. But for the most part, I think I know... I, okay, just takes you back up to normal special defense, which means you're going to die here. I think I know which one takes me to Sabrina. And I think I know the... I have a... Decent idea of what the most efficient route is there. I think I remember which route I take, but I might be wrong. Uh, there's so many kinase here. What the heck? Suki could be getting a lot of XP too. Just cross chopping them all. Actually, I might have. If there's just more kinase, I might just have her do that after her o finishes tells Tom Hawking them all. Gosh, why is so many kinase in this? There's like Patula, there's Kokuma, what other psychic types are there? Alice? And, and yet, all there is is Kaine. <laughs> okay, Ryzen as well, there we go. I know this is, that's probably just me, like, I just happened to run into the two people in the entire gym that use Kaine at all, but... Maybe. Have we seen E-Ryzen before? That sprite looks... Different. I don't know. I don't. It's like I've never seen it before. I probably have. I just. I guess you don't see E, e Ryzen very much. It's normally A Ryzen or one of the other ones, and just Ryzen in general is not very seen for some reason. I mean, she's what the third most featured character in all of the main Toho games, besides in the fighting game spinoffs, besides um. Raymu and Marissa, I think. Toho 15, Toho 8, where she first appeared, Scarlet Weather Rhapsody, Unthinkable Natural Law, um, she was DLC in Urban Legend Limbo, Edmund Common Flowers, um, I think she was in Toho 9. Yeah. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe like, I or someone might have just as many. Try to think who else. Sakuya, maybe? I don't know. Yomu, maybe? I don't know. Oh, so toy. There, there, see, I'm, there's so many psychic types, and yeah, I just find it odd that the first two trainers both had just a bunch of kainés that aren't even psychic type. Only E kainé is part psychic type, and that's its secondary typing. And yes, I know secondary typing, primary typing doesn't really matter. Who cares? I certainly don't. But like, I'm not keeping track. Uh, but I mean, still, it just you don't think of kainé as a psychic type. Jeez, there are a lot of kinase. Wait, did I run out? I hope I did not run out of, uh, Hell's Tomahawk. No, I still have one more. Okay. Because Crush Shop's actually only going to be neutrally effective. Oh, I have... What am I doing? I have Marissa. I forgot, Marissa has Dragon Meteor. You can just Dragon Meteor them. Okay, so we don't have to worry about going back or having Sukiya Crush Shop them. So thinking that if we see any more e kinase, which we probably won't, they're going to be um okay, we gotta fight this guy. They're going to be the um 
E uh, variant, probably. Hopefully, it'll be the E variant, you know, because there's a psych type gym, but who knows. So, we fought, what, three? And there's, what, seven trainers here? This one just uses ghost types. Interesting. No, I did not want to. I wanted to hit this, then right. So I could go down afterwards and then hit crunch. We might have to go back in a second anyways, because we're almost out of crunches. I wonder how strong, um... Sabrina's gonna be, because, like, normally, you know, the gym leader is slightly stronger, but not that much stronger than their little pushovers. Um, they're strong enough that you could say they're not a pushover, and yet all their little trainers are. But I think in Toomon, they're generally quite a number stronger, so I'm looking, thinking somewhere in the mid-60s. So we might be a bit over-leveled if we're somewhat on par with her team. Which is nice. I don't mind being over-leveled. Especially because we're going to be switching our team soon. So having all the right levels would be really nice. Yeah, let, I'm going to go back real quick. Uh, just so we can get more crunch PP. See you guys in a second. Alright, we are back. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. We fought you already, right? Okay. Sorry. It's this one right here. What am I thinking of? Hello, we just finished fighting you, so... This one, I think? Yes. Okay, so after this we have, what, one or two more? I don't remember. Don't remember how many we fought yet. We have one or two more after this, so there's either so you have three more right now or two more right now. Ilunasa, what is this? Level 60? No, level 59. Close. Definitely the biggest threat that we've seen so far. Let's see if it goes down one hit. If it does, then we're probably going to be fine on the battle coming up in terms of damage. Okay, no, it did not. The Lunasa is somewhat bulky. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I'm thinking we might not want to go back and heal anyways, just because I don't feel like it. Now, I don't exactly remember from this point where these last guys, uh, last teleporters take us. Uh, so I'll just try them all out. Oh, this one takes us here, and yeah, there's one more that we have to fight. Yeah, you know, Buki Jim is famous for its psychics, and yeah, we want to see Sabrina. Okay, I'm gonna actually go back though, because I'm thinking we might take a bit more damage. Okay, here's a well, just regular patchy. It's, though it might not go down one hit, not from a crunch at least. So I'm gonna go for a sore instead. It traced on intimidate, but because it did not get sent out, it is in battle already. It does not thankfully intimidate us. I mean, yes, in fact, we do kill it with Sora. I don't know. We might be able to level up. Uh, where do you go? Not where we want. Okay, that's Sabrina. Okay. That's where I thought. This is the way we came, right? Yes, okay. So now we need to figure out how to get to the top center, which is thankfully right there. Okay. Probably gonna use a, we're going to level up, but I think we're going to use enough crunches. That we're going to get down below like 9, and 9's probably the place I'm comfortable with fighting Sabrina. Um, because... Dracula Cradle, is that better than Crunch? Didn't we say that wasn't better than... Oh wait, no, 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 no. That was, um... 
Hell's Claw, whatever it was. Dracula Cradle's... Yeah, it's Blazing Star, but Dark type. Okay, yeah, we'll take that, we'll take that. That also means we need to heal because of... Uh, because we're going to be dealing a ton of damage to ourselves. We'll just test that out right now because, I mean, we don't have anything to lose since we're going to go heal. Yeah, this will, uh, this will go very well with our kit. Especially since we're not going to be using Humilia too much after this. Um, we don't have to worry about... Hey, once we're not one-shotting stuff, hurting ourselves might actually be bad. Since I say the recoil moves are only good if you one-shot your opponent. It's this, then this. Right, and then this. Okay, I remember I had some strategy that had to do with being up in the top middle. I don't know if that's actually faster than any of the other ones, but... Maybe? Anyways, I'll see you guys back at Sabrina. Alright, so this isn't probably the fastest way, but here is a way of fighting, uh, of getting to Sabrina. And then it's this one, right? Yep, there we go. So let's save, and then see what she has for us. I have a vision of your arrival. I had psychic power since I was a child. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I'll show you my power. Man, remember in the anime when Sabrina was like an absolute jerk? I like her in the games. Oh! Hi! Well, this is why you save. Alright, alright. Okay, so what beats D.E. Yukari? Nothing? Nah, I'm gonna go with nothing. But, I'm gonna switch in Sukiya. I know it's suicide, she can just hit me with the psychic. And then I'm dead. But, I'm hoping that I can tube it KO with Cross Chop and that she goes for something else. Not Psychokinesis. Because D Yukari is Psychic Dark, which is a troublesome typing. It's four times weak to bug, and we do have Leech Life, but this is not Gen 7 Leech Life. It does crap damage, even off a good base attack. Okay, Phantom Rush. That's a ghost type move, that's fine. This will take it down real low, so even if we die, she'll probably want to heal. This won't do too much, I don't think, right? We have good defense, and she doesn't have that great physical offense, and wow, that did a lot. Okay, when we baited out the heal, that's nice. So I don't think Suki is going to be that useful this fight, so that's why I'm letting her die, even though she's probably our, currently our strongest member, in terms of just stats. Crit, 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 crit. We have a high crit chance. Yeah, this will do a lot because of the defense lower. Then Rock Slide will finish her off if it landed, but it didn't, so now we die. Great, that's not fun. So I'm going to have Marissa actually come in and just Blazing Star it to death. Because Blazing Star will kill. Level 64 to level 59. Now level 60, but yeah. It's low health and Blazing Star is just really powerful, especially coming off D Marissa. I'm actually going to probably keep Marissa in, one, so she can heal, and two, so she gets speed boost. Oh, and we're fighting a flying type, so yeah. So now we're definitely faster than Kokuma, which we went earlier. We heal a little bit off that last um, Blazing Star. We're almost up to full. And now we can just use another one. This will hopefully want to KO since we're only four levels below it. And it's super effective. 120 base power, stab. All the good stuff. Okay, no it did not. Kokuma's just that strong. Maybe we can... Oh, this might kill us. This will probably kill us. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, so maybe we can bait out another heal. If we bait out two heals, that's going to be really good. 
Um, because I don't think D.E. Yukari is her strongest, um, bunker. And so, it'd be really nice if we could bait out some more heals. But I think she still has one more heal and she's probably saving it for Ibiakuren. I think we're going to switch out. We don't need that heal enough. As we really just want to kill Ibiakuren. So thankfully Ibiakuren is not fighting Psychic. It is just pure Psychic for some reason. They didn't give her fighting even though that's what she does in the games. And I know she's also a magician. But she also mostly just punches things in the face really hard. So the fact that she isn't port fighting type seems kind of weird. Extrasensory will do next to nothing, so we could probably leech life her to death? I don't think that's necessary. Okay, she's using the full restore here, that's fine. Vermilia might die due to recoil off these next two Dracula Cradles. I'm really wishing that we could have one shot that, but we can't. Yeah, I'd still rather take the damage of Dracula Coil and make sure that this thing's dead than use Leech Life and not kill it because Leech Life's pathetic. It's only two damage. We have definitely enough PP to use another Dracula Cradle. El Remu. Oh gosh. El Ramu's flying, I think. But I'm going to keep Romilia in for whatever godforsaken reason and just Dracula Cradle it to get it down to where, um... Uh, a... Not Master Spark. I wish it was Master Spark. Uh, Master Spark would probably actually kill. A Blazing Comet might kill. Not Blazing Comet. I'm sorry. Um... Blazing Star. Mixed mixed up Marissa's stuff. This is why we actually should have saved uh, Sukiya, but we didn't. And I'm actually fine with that because we can kill this with other methods. We still have Blazing Star on ho -Oh. oh, and that killed. Okay, good. Even Marissa does die. Okay, she didn't. Yeah, but that's fine because... Now we just have her on El Iki, and that is that's perfectly fine, because Ho-Ho can pick this up after we hopefully hit it with a Dragon Meteor. Hopefully El Iki, since it's not as powerful uh, in terms of levels, it's not the same level as um, El Remu doesn't have anything crazy... Well, this was an interesting fight. Not the hardest. I don't remember it being very hard. So, yeah. I didn't expect it to be too hard. I like how her hair turns purple when colors get inverted. Did it pink? I didn't realize that pink was the inverse of green. Yeah. Didn't remember it being too hard, so I didn't expect to have trouble, but... Still very interesting that she had a lot more L's than I thought she would. But I guess it has been a while since we fought Koga. I didn't remember exactly what Koga had. He had Dio Rumia. What, what else did he have? Uh, right now, I think up to level 70 obeys. And we get... TMO4. It doesn't tell us what that is. Calm Mind. Pretty useless. At least in this game, setting up Calm Mind's really good. But you have to set it up. And setting up is only good when you have support set up. At least from my experience. So... Wait, is it this one? No. So essentially, uh, if you watch my video where I fight um, another... Then you see that I set up with uh, El Vermilia at the very start and just one-shot everything with Aeroblast. Um, 
because I have plus six attack. But that's because I know that uh, another's lead can't actually damage me or status me in any meaningful way. Um, all I can do is set up stuff that doesn't actually matter. And I can just wait out at what it sets up. Uh, and so, yeah, it's... So that's why I can set up there, and then if you... Then we... Then against the, uh, Bonka League, the Gensokyo League, I often use, uh, El Sakuya's, um, Lunar Clock to freeze the opponent, get the 100% freeze effect. Um, and so I can start setting up Mind's Eyes there. But yeah, unless you have some sort of setup, or like you know the opponent can't actually hurt you, then no, that's not good to set up. And even then, I'd rather go for like Nasty Plot. I don't think Nasty Plot exists in this game. Actually, no it does, it's Sunny Milk. But like I'd rather go for Sunny Milk because... Sweeping is a lot better than getting your defenses up in this game, at least from my experience. I mean, you... Yes, having your defenses up is actually really good in this game. But the problem is, is that you could run into a bad typing matchup and it won't matter how high your defense is, or just they could hit physically offensive. So... Um, so yeah, you're going to be switching out a lot, probably. And then all your, all your stuff goes away. All your, um... All your hard-earned stat-ups go away. So that's why I rarely use boosting moves. Anyways, that was a kind of weird rant that I didn't know what I was coming up with. But next time, well, this was a very eventful episode, so next time we will be moving on to the Abandoned Mansion. Yep, we're going all the way back to um, Gurren Island. And then after that, we'll finally get to fight the 7th Gym. Aren't we all excited? Until then, see ya.